Welcome back to an introduction to basic concepts of maintenance and reliability. In this lecture, we are going to discuss mean time to repair. So let's say there is a pump that starts operation. It runs for 1000 hours and experienced a failure. Maintenance team repairs the pump and put it back into service. The pump runs for 1,500 hours this time and experiences a failure again. Maintenance team again repairs the pump. The pump runs for 1,200 hours and fails again. The MTTR stands for mean time to repair or mean time to replace. As the name implies, it is simply the average time taken to repair the asset or replace it. So if the first failure took one hour to repair or replace, the second failure took three hours and the third failure took half an hour, the total repair time becomes 4.5 hours. Simply plugging in the values to get the mean time to repair which in our example comes out to be 1.5 hours. Mean time to repair can hint towards more than one things. If it is too much, it may hint towards shortcoming in maintenance due to which repairs take too long. Or maybe the maintenance staff lacks training. Or maybe the equipment is designed in a way such that it is not easy to disassemble it or access its critical parts for maintenance. Therefore, a large value of mean time to repair is undesirable and its root cause should be identified and fixed. Further, its improvement should be tracked in time to judge whether the actions we took resulted in quicker repair times or not.